Hi, geckos. So I'm going to do story time with swimming. Lily caught wind of it. So now I guess it's story time with Swimmy and Lily here at my house. Um, but so first graders, the last time we were together, the last week of school, I think we were reading Magic Tree House book number seven, um, Sunset of the Sabretooth. And I was sick that week, if you remember, and I'm not sure if you heard the end of that story or not. So I went to look for that book at school and I couldn't find it anywhere. You guys are getting so good at hiding my books from me for story time. And I couldn't find it. So I decided we will start story time here at home with Midnight on the Moon. That's book number eight. So we won't have missed much with Jack and Annie's adventures. And I will read the prologue to get us caught up in case you don't remember where we left off. So this is... Mary Pope Osborne's Magic Tree House, book number eight, Midnight on the Moon. With Swimmy and Lily. Okay, the prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious tree house appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the tree house. <laughs> Lily. Yeah. <laughs> the tree house was filled with books and it was magic. It could go any place that was in a book. All Jack and Annie had to do was to point to a picture and wish to go there. They visited dinosaurs, knights, and Egyptian queen, pirates, ninjas, and the Amazon rainforest. Along the way, they discovered that the treehouse belonged to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan was a magical librarian from the time of King Arthur. She traveled through time and space, gathering books for her library. One day, Jack and Annie found a note that said Morgan was under a spell. Jack and Annie set out in a magical treehouse to find four special things that would help free her. With the help of a mouse named Peanut, Jack and Annie found the first thing in Old Japan the second in the Amazon rainforest, and the third in the Ice Age. Now, Jack, Annie, and Peanut are ready to find the last thing in Midnight on the Moon. I'm gonna stop there, and I will read each chapter as a second video. So keep watching for the videos, and you can listen to the whole story in order. With Swimmy and Lily.